This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com. Ascending, descending. What about ascending and descending? This is first posed in Proverbs 30, 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? And ask again in Romans 10, 6 through 7, Who shall ascend into heaven, or who shall descend into the deep? This Old and New Testament question is a test of one's Bible knowledge, and the scriptures have the answer. In this message, the true biblical names of God, Jesus, and God's children will be used and they are covered in detail in the message, Three Holy Names. According to the Bible, those who ascend and descend were seen by Jacob. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. Behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Genesis 28:12 In 1 Samuel 28:7 through 25 Saul went to the witch of Endor to get her to call Samuel from the dead She did her mumbo jumbo and all of a sudden was scared to death when God showed her what was really going on in the earth Saul wanted to know what had frightened her so and the king said unto her be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. 1 Samuel 28, 13 The King Jimmy boys translated the Hebrew word Elohim into the generic English word gods. This word Elohim is the family surname of Yahweh as seen from the ancient text for Genesis 2-4 and is addressed in the message The Eighth Step. These King James translators did this over 2,600 times in their authorized version. Since when does a king get to authorize the version of any translation of the Bible? The answer to this question is the reason people left home and family and took a perilous journey to the distant wilderness of America, which is covered in the message, raises the issue. The Elohim are also referred to as angels in the scriptures. This is seen in Judges 13, 3 through 24, when Manoah and his wife were told that they would have a son who would be named Samuel. And the angel of the Lord Yahweh appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren, and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son, Manoah said unto his wife, We shall surely die because we have seen God, Elohim. Judges 13, 3 and 22. The entity that appeared to them is called an angel, and Elohim translated God. These Elohim angels are doing the ascending and descending whether they are spoken of in the Old or New Testament. Jesus tells Nathanael that he will see such an event. And he saith unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. John 1.51 who understands that Jacob's vision is the same thing that Jesus tells Nathaniel he will see. In the third chapter of John, when speaking to Nicodemus about flesh and spirit, Jesus answered, 
Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. The wind bloweth where it listeth, now here is the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of man which is in heaven john 3 5 through 6 8 12 through 13 not only do those who are born of the spirit come and goeth but also no one who sendeth up to heaven if they did not come down from heaven whose dwelling is in heaven the phrase the son of man does not just pertain to Jesus, for it is used in Numbers, Job, Psalms, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hebrews, and none of these are speaking about Jesus, but are talking about the sons of the Adam of Genesis 2-7. More about this is covered in the messages, Adam was not the first living soul, and Adam was not the first human. Jesus descended from heaven and will ascend back to heaven. He clearly states this when he tells the disciples, What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? John six sixty two. Also, he had come into and left earth more than once. I came forth from the Father and am come into the world. Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. John sixteen twenty eight. Nothing can be done again that has never been done before. And this is not unique to Jesus but it pertains to his Elohim brothers as well. Furthermore, Jesus is not the Father Yahweh God. And for this scriptural truth, go to the message, higher than Jesus. When Mary goes to the tomb, Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. John twenty seventeen. He tells her that he cannot remain in earth, but must ascend. And he then speaks about his Father, his God, and his brethren. These brethren do not become that by believing, accepting, or choosing, as the church cocks proclaim, but are the foreknown and predestinated ones of God, for whom he, Yahweh, did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he, Yahweh Shua, might be the firstborn among many brethren. Romans 8 29. Like Jesus, who was the firstborn from the dead, Colossians 1 18, so his Elohim brethren are to be born from the dead into life. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he, Yahweh, quickened, made alive, together with him, Yahweh Shua, having forgiven all your trespasses. Colossians 2.13
there are only two things that exist. They are Yahweh's creation and his children Elohim, which he took out of himself, named, and wrote them down in the book of life in heaven before the foundation of the world, Revelation 13, 8 and 17, 8, for the fundamental principles of the oracles of God. Go to the messages contained in Life-Changing Bible Knowledge and to learn more about the Elohim, go to Biblical Ancient Aliens. As the Elohim were with their Father in heaven, he's with them in the earth. It is during their pilgrimage, sojourning in the earth, that they are perfected in order to administer Yahweh's government kingdom in earth as it is in heaven. To understand the Father's plan that is going on today, then go to the message, Made Perfect. There is a reason for the ascending, descending, and it is all about the glorious destiny of the Elohim. This it's just the beginning. This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com.